Welcome back to Cryptos Are Us. I'm George. We're all George. So this morning, let's talk about Bitcoin and why it's targeting $97,000. Is it going to happen? And how soon? Let's talk about it. And let's talk about everything else, including meme coins that are definitely exploding. So let's do it. Welcome, 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 guys. Right now, we're opening up, market opened, and uh, Bitcoin's around 67.4, right, right around where it was yesterday, it's slightly lower, but let's see where it goes. I mean, this morning, the U.S. market is opening green, and I think mostly it's due to what was said yesterday during the FOMC meeting, which basically Powell came out and told everyone that we are going to get three rate cuts in the u.s this is significant i know a lot of you guys don't live in the u.s but a lot of you guys do this is very 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 significant we know right now wall street is leading the bitcoin charge and when these fund managers are feeling good they're able to borrow money once again and the liquidity is flowing left and right you know what they're gonna start placing bets and they're gonna bet on the fastest horse and the fastest horse is Bitcoin or crypto for that matter, okay? There will be a lot more money flowing everywhere, but especially into Bitcoin, I believe. So this is going to be absolutely fantastic. This is predictable. It was not unpredictable. It was predictable. Just didn't know when it was going to happen. It seems like it's going to be soon because if they have to fit three rate cuts in, <clears throat> Excuse me. That means the next one's probably in May, which is coming up right after the having event. So absolutely fantastic. As for Bitcoin, we know that the bull cycle is far from over. In fact, we just started it and we already broken all time highs. So multiple times. So right now we're sitting a little bit below, but 73,000 is right around the corner. And after that, the sky is the limit. We are far, far, far from over. And here's the amazing thing too. A lot of you guys may be wondering about ETF flows. Yesterday, we had another horrible day. Yesterday, we had a negative 263 million outflow. Okay, so that's not good because Grayscale continued to sell so much and BlackRock slowed down their buying. But we had three consecutive red days. Horrible, horrible. Adding up to like almost 800, 800 million outflow from mostly all from Grayscale because they just continue to dump and dump and dump and they're not stopping. But here's the thing, even with yesterday's outflow, Guess what? Bitcoin still recovered up 11%. That means there are still so many people buying. They may not buy in, they may not be buying the ETFs, but they're buying Bitcoin directly from Coinbase, from Binance, from whatever, right? But just imagine when there's no more reds. When Grayscale finally stops selling, how much more buy pressure there will be. But like right now, they are still dumping three, four, five hundred million dollars per day. And I can't figure it out and it sucks, but that's what's happening. Look at their balance. I mean, they started before ETFs. They had 650,000 Bitcoin in their reserve and now they're around 350,000. They sold 300,000. And I know it's not just grayscale the investors that are holding their shares. But I think a lot of it is they, meaning DCG and Genesis, they, they're in trouble. That's why they, and they held an enormous amount of shares and they had to sell. So I do think a lot of it is, is Grayscale's fault or their parents' fault, right? Or their sister company's fault. So I do think a lot of it is due to them, but a lot of it is due to insiders also selling and so forth. And maybe some of it is due to BlackRock too. I would not be surprised if BlackRock is like a major shareholder of Grayscale. Like I, I, I haven't been able to found, find that info, but that would not surprise me. So some of that as well. But in, regardless, massive amount, massive amount 
of selling from Grayscale. And I can't wait for the days when I could show you inflows into Grayscale. I don't think we've seen that since the inception of ETFs. Where are the inflows? Eventually they will happen, but not right now. Regardless, like I said, there's other whales that are buying. Here's an example from Binance. You have someone that just bought 42 million, okay, in the past two hours. And 42 million may seem insignificant, but it still adds up. And this is just one example of one whale. There are many whales that are buying directly, like I said, from Coinbase and Binance and Gemini. They're buying boatloads. And the, the key thing to remember is when it comes to Bitcoin, there is an infinite amount. There isn't, unlike stocks, unlike gold, unlike oil, unlike anything else out there that basically has an infinite supply or more supply than anyone could ever imagine versus Bitcoin where we know there's a set supply. It's, it's such an easy, it's such an easy thing for Bitcoin. Like you just, you know, there's just so many. There's not enough to go around. There's not even enough to go around for every millionaire on the planet, let alone billionaires and trillionaires that are buying up. When I say trillionaires, uh, I mean the institutions and banks that have trillions and trillions of dollars. I mean, all these people are FOMOing. So there's just not enough. It's just a simple supply and demand. And demand is way greater than supply. And Bitcoin is the only thing that offers that. Everything else, not so much and let's not forget the miners too miners continue to hash and they continue to hold what they hash okay their hash rate or they're pushing the hash rate to astronomical levels right now it is at an all-time high that's not going to stop so the network is getting stronger by the minute and those miners, they're hoarding every single Bitcoin that they mine. So again, adds to the supply shock. If they're not releasing the Bitcoin that they're mining, so basically everyone is fighting for what exists. And even if they are releasing what they're, they're mining, there's not that much. We already mined 95% of all Bitcoin in existence. So they're all fighting for just the last 5%. So think about it vast majority have already been mined everyone's fighting for the last little bit but what's out there is being eaten up by these big whales and institutions and etfs so again it's not rocket science the way we're going right now bitcoin will be much 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 higher right ninety seven thousand dollars that's only a short-term tar target. That's not a long-term target. Okay, once we're able to break through our current slump and we break through 75K, you know, the next target is right around 97,000 or 100,000. That's short-term. That can happen within the next month. Before the halving event or shortly after having them, we got like 20, 22 days left until we have a happy man, that's still within possibilities, right? That's not out of reach. So think about it. By the time we hit a happy event, we could be at $97,000. And then after that, who knows? Bitcoin go a lot higher, a lot, lot higher. Once we get to six figures, Bitcoin, it's gonna be absolute insanity, okay? insanity you go hear about everyone talking about it when you're at the gym you're in a grocery store you're in an airplane family dinners wherever date night uh you're gonna hear about bitcoin being spoken by everyone and just know that you're gonna be you're gonna be way ahead of the game because you're already in while everyone else is trying to figure out what is bitcoin right so looking good guys as always but of course it's not just about bitcoin there are so many others in this space that are doing quite well coinbase is saying they're gonna list doge futures <laughs> says it transcends 
transcended meme origins. Interesting. Um, you know what? I guess Doge is not dead. <laughs> there are a lot of people still holding Doge. People are still waiting for Elon to do something. Well, we know that, hey, Elon is about to launch some kind of payment system with X. They have money transmitter license for 22 states now. But are they going to integrate Doge? Because if so, it will be absolutely fantastic. Okay, but Doge right now, kind of, you know, it's it's surprising. Doge is going up. Look at it. It's up 13, 14% today. Doge is making moves, although it's still 79% off from its previous high. But still, it's coming back to life because, you know, a lot of memes are coming back to life. So it's not just Doge. Even Floki, even Pepe, even Sheep, they're all exploding by double digits as the market recovers. I mean... I've made this point. This cycle could be a cycle of memes. We got a lot of old memes. We got a lot of new memes. We got a lot of really new memes. They're all doing very, very well. When the money is flowing, that's what happens, right? So there are a ton of memes that are doing very, very well. And of course, the chain that leads all chains when it comes to memes has to be Solana. Look at that. Global traffic shares since the beginning of the year to about three days ago, Solana has 50% of the interest. 50%. And why? It's because of all the memes. There's no doubt about it. It's due to all the memes. 50%. Where's Ethereum at? 12%. BNB, 5%. Avalanche, unfortunately, is at 4%. Avalanche should be getting up there soon. But this is the reason why Solana is so damn strong. And I've told you guys that. So you can't, you can't ignore Solana this cycle. The memes are only going to get stronger and Solana is going to get stronger because of it. Uh, but there are other things besides meme coins. Here's one, Ando. A lot of people have been asking about Ando, which to me is like a banker's coin. Basically, it allows tokenization of treasuries and you get yields and you can... Uh, stake your stable coins they're like it's like a bank it's like a bank but it's supported by i believe coinbase so they have been doing very 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 well in fact they're at like a billion dollars in market cap now right so tokenization is a real thing a lot of banks are looking at tokenizing their treasuries and other things okay so there are a few if you're interested in that that is this ando's uh perfect example and you know what? They're the only ones out of the many that are that are out there, but I don't even know if they have tokens. But out of the ones that are on a chain, Ando is the only one on Solana. And that's the reason why they're doing the best. No, I'm just kidding. That's not, that's not the reason why they're doing the best. But maybe, maybe there is something to that. But they're the only ones on Solana. Just, just pointing that out there. Uh, what else is there? Stacks. Stacks is doing very, very well too. As Bitcoin gets higher, Stacks is going higher. Their Nakamoto upgrade has been approved. 99.98% voted in favor of the upgrade. It's a very significant upgrade. It makes Stacks faster, more efficient, and more decentralized because a lot of people argue that Stacks is, is very centralized. Uh, but this is supposed to change all of that. So Stacks will probably continue to be, probably go in tandem with Bitcoin. As Bitcoin goes higher, Stacks will also. And Stacks is the only crypto, in case you didn't know, that gives you a, a yield with Bitcoin. So if you stake Stacks, you don't get Stacks in return. You get Bitcoin as a yield. It's interesting how they do that. I actually don't know how they do that, but... But just know that they're the only project, crypto project, where you stake it and you get Bitcoin in return. That's very interesting. That's very, very interesting. And lastly, just want to throw this out. Those of you guys that are using Robinhood, you should really think about downloading their wallet, which is a self-custody wallet. 
Okay, this is the first step in terms of learning self custody. So if you are in Robinhood, you definitely want to download their wallet and try it out. I didn't know that it wasn't available for Android users. Uh, I knew the iOS version was out, but I thought it was just both. But it turns out it wasn't. So now you could do it if you're an Android user, which is kind of silly. I don't get why it's so hard to come out of the wallet. If you have iOS version, I don't know why it takes you like a, a full year before you come out to Android. Half the world is in Android. But anyways, uh, a lot of you guys I know just rely on Robinhood itself or Coinbase itself or whatever. You have never touched a self-custody wallet. You really should. Coinbase has their own wallet too called Coinbase Wallet. You got Robinhood Wallet. You got Trust Wallet. These are all self-custody mobile wallets. I did MetaMask and Phantom, even though they're primarily browser wallets, but they're also mobile apps too. You could download and try them out. It's really not that difficult. You just have to secure your private phrase, your, uh, your yeah, recovery phrase, and you got to leave a little bit of crypto in there for gas. That's it. What sucks is you don't have to worry about gas fees. It just automatically subtracts it off, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you're using a wallet and you're trying to send an entire amount and you don't save a little bit for gas fees, it'll error out and freaks people out. That's the only thing you have to worry about. All right, that's it. That's it. Overall, you know what? Still looking good, guys. I know right now we're going through a slump. Bitcoin came down a little bit. Okay, but just know that we're still doing just fine. We have come up very, very, very fast. Very fast indeed. And this is nowhere near the end. All right, let's do some Q&A. All right, let me scroll up. Let's see if I missed anything. Let's see. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see. Um, One House Productions, you're the man. Keep the faith, hold on, that is right. Ninety-nine percent. Ninety-nine percent will fight for the second best coin when Bitcoin is only for the rich. <laughs> I don't disagree with that. Or the third best. Only the only post the best. Got ten k on the side for a new hot meme coin. Try to make a quick 100K. Well, I did list one. I did show a new one yesterday that I, I love the name and it has done very well. Um, let's see. Okay, hold on. Paul's asking, going to be talking about ZCX soon, am I? Unizen? I don't know what that is. I think you asked about it before. I have no idea what it is. Is it a, it's a deep end project? The deep end? No, maximize returns on your decentralized swaps. Yeah, it's, it's about as boring as a project as it could be. Um, I thought you would mention render and stability. No. That's that's old. Hey, if you like if you like render, it's not like me mentioning render is go cause it to pump. If you already like it and you hold it, then it's great. You don't need to ask me to talk about it every single day. Um, thoughts on D2X, D pin storage project on Solana. Did I buy a gem or trash? Well, it's too early. I can't can't find it. Thoughts on the Buildo BlackRock's token? 
is that really black rocks token or someone else just made a black rock token i know i got sent some like fake black rock tokens as a b i d l that's not it red rubles good morning cougar says i'm so bullish on bitcoin that i quit my job today <laughs> Hopefully you have enough to to stain yourself uh, or you've made a tremendous amount with Bitcoin that you're able to do that. So congratulations. Uh, your opinion on GST? Uh, no, I don't have any opinions on it. I don't know why people keep asking about Green Shitoshi token. Anything that has like that, if, if you're going to like use Bitcoin's name or Shitoshi in it, that's just an instant turn off for me. Uh, Meld is doing RWA, real world asset. Might be interesting. Coindesk just covered them. Meld is also on, well, they're kind of like a token. They're kind of like a banker's coin too. I remember talking to the team. Uh, they're really focused on fiat and fiat on ramp, off ramp. Um, yeah, they're kind of they're kind of like a banker's coin too. But I mean, I guess there's a need for that. You're saying Mel, I mean uh, Ando doing so well. They're kind of in that space too. Relatively small. Could XRP flip ETH? <laughs> not, not, not right now. No, they're far, far, far from away from doing that. Um, can you review Capital is right meme coin? No, that's just stupid. <laughs> the name is just stupid already. So no. Have you looked into HBAR? Not sure if anyone asked. Tim, you don't think anyone has ever asked about HBAR in, in five years of me streaming? <laughs> yes, of course I have. Karate Combat is on top of Hadera. So, yes, they have a nice big console full of big companies. Uh, they're decentralized now, sort of, or open source. So they're much better than when I first looked into them. When I first looked into them, uh, they were very centralized and not open source, but they have fixed those things. And they have smart contracts now. They have tokenization now. They've added a lot of things over the years. So they're actually a pretty promising L1. Uh, revolution of apnea. Uh, Bork hit 22 million market cap, consolidating at 6.5. What are your thoughts on the project? They are running a Solana validator, Bork Army. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know what you want me to say about a meme coin because there's only a few things. Uh, first of all, do I like the name? Bork? Not bad. Uh, I'll say not bad. It, it's... It's a play on Bonk, I guess, and then called Bork. The, the charts do not look good at all. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it hit, I misread what you said. I thought you said it hit 22 million, consolidated at 60.5 and went back up, but no, it's, the charts don't look very good. So that's my thought. Um, let's see. Yesterday, I talked about Stanley Pup, and it was doing well. It was doing well. 2.4 million. It got up as high as five, and then came back down a little bit, and now they're recovering. I, I like this name a lot, and they're only like two days old or three days old. Quant, I'm not a fan of. They don't do anything for for people. They they're a business to business project. Two point 
Two people trying to uh, shill Skid. I told you guys I don't like Skid, but I'll check it for you guys. It peaked and it started going down. And I don't know. There's no way this is getting a Binance listing. You guys are you guys are full of it. Unless that gets to like 500 million, it's not going to get a Binance listing. Can you give us an idea how much percentage cash do you hold at the moment? No, why do you need to know how much cash I need? I hold. You need to know how much you hold, which sounds like maybe not a lot. You should hold 20, 25, 30% cash. Boom is rising. Book a meme. Wow. They hit $1.3 billion in two days. They went all the way down to like 500, 400 million. Now they're up to 700 million. So another very hot, very hot meme. So a lot of memes are just absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Where is WIF at? WIF is up pretty good today. 2.3. Bonk is at. 1.5. Jupiter has made me a super Solana bull. Jupiter also. Jupiter, kind of like Stacks. Stacks moves with Bitcoin. Jupiter moves with Solana. When Solana goes up, Jupiter goes up. And it had a pretty good year. This is not even calculating a percentage. Let's do one month. One month, 173%. That's not bad at all. Even one week up 41%. That's crazy. We had a pretty bad week. Even, but still, they're up 41% in a week. Myro should be the top dog. Myro, you know, I was betting on Myro against Whiff, and I was wrong. Myro, after that FUD came out that the devs were dumping or something, that completely killed them. They should be much higher. They're still low. I mean, they barely, if you look, they're still below their previous high. So, unfortunately, I mean, they, they, they're 200 million you know that's a great accomplishment but still they're lower than before and they should be much higher why is xrp so stagnant well that's the million dollar question they have not look at that they have not broken their 2021 high they have not broken their 2018 high not even close. There's many reasons for that. But right now, they still have a lawsuit with the SEC they need to resolve. But the bigger reason is um, Ripple needs to sell XRP. That's their business model. So when they sell it to companies that use it, what do the companies do with it afterwards? They dump it. So that that that's not going to change until they go IPO. So... They already announced they're going to go IPO so they can make money that way. They don't need to sell XRP to make profits like before. That's the reason. Number one. Thank you. Dog with cat. at Solana killing it. Thoughts? No. No, no, no. No. First of all, I don't like cats. Second of all, you're, again, you're just kind of like copying catting something else or a lot of things. And it's not going to work. 
It's not going to work, man. If you make a quick buck on any of these new ones that do pump, great. Okay, but I'll, I'll check it for you since you sent a big super chat. It doesn't even show up. It's not even new. Or they're not on Dex tools. So they're so new, they're not even on Dex tools. Just the tip, man, they're so, they're so steady. I haven't seen a meme coin this steady like for a long time. <laughs> so they're really steady. And then uh, Kulo still sitting good at 24 million and Big Red at 10 million. Please have a look at meme coin artifacts on Ethereum. Okay. Right now, memes do not do well on Ethereum. Just know that. So it's probably not going to do well. Lurry Pink is a new meme that is... Okay, I'm not, I'm not... Sorry, man. I'm not even going to look at that. It's a horrible name. If there's a meme and you just don't like the name... You know, there's a good chance that many others don't, and that's just a stupid name. I guess it's one that's supposed to be Larry Fink, and they call Lurry Pink. That's not even clever, and that's not fun. That's not anything. Any memes on Solana not doing well? Well, the ones that <laughs> that have not gone up, yeah. There's plenty of them that haven't done well. Uh, today, what else is doing well? Uh, Sheeb is doing well. You got Bitcoin Cash doing well, but that's complete trash. Stacks is still doing well at 10%. That's great. Immutable is doing well. Kronos is doing well. Pepe doing very well. Caspa doing very well, almost 20%. Uh, Phantom still doing well ahead of their uh, their Sonic upgrade. Theta is coming back. Lido with Sui. Sui is doing very well today. I'm 19%. Awesome for them. They're building up momentum. They're going to have a big base camp in Paris next month. Floki going up 27%. Man, Floki is starting to catch fire too. Up 550% in the last 30 days. That's amazing. Jupiter... 10%, not bad. Conflux, 20%, not bad. Uh, Quan, 14%. I don't like them, though. Uh, synthetics, okay. Axelar, good, 20%. Jasmine, no. Ondo, 30% today. That's why I talked about them. I mean, they're killing it. And a lot of others. Uh, hey, I'm 17 with $700. What wallet would you recommend? Trust wallet. Go with the trust wallet. Um, let's see. I bought Nvidia at 500, so up, but I FOMO on ARM at 149. It hasn't come back. Should I hold or send to crypto? I'm not your financial advisor, man. You're going to have to figure that one out. <laughs> Two years ago, you had a meeting with Stephen Say of Harmony. Say something about Harmony. Um, I'm completely off the Harmony bandwagon. I'm very close with Dreamer of DFK. He has told me some stories that are not so good. And I've heard that from other people too. Uh, when things started going sour, when the hack happened, um, it seemed like they did all the wrong moves and drove out everyone. 
um, DFK was like 95% or 90% of their volume and they drove them out. Like it was not, it was not good. So after that, SpaceX got off the Harmony bandwagon and I don't even know if they have any other major DEXs or anything anymore. Uh, goat goat community takeover admit I'm gonna have to like put you in timeout because all you do is try to spam your contract address so that'll be your warning I'm thinking about buying uh, meme coins would you recommend into any Cello, Doge, Sheep are the ones I'm looking at now. Those are like really old ones. Cello's not a meme coin, by the way. I don't know why you put that in there. Um, I'll just say sure. I mean, there's a lot of new memes. But if you want to stick with the tried and true ones, the hardened ones from years ago, okay. Thoughts on CKB being layer two for, for BDC? Um, a little too late for that. Make a meme coin called We're All George. Well, I, I, there, I shared this in my discord the other day. I'm pretty sure if I made it, it would explode to like a billion dollars and I'll become really rich and everyone who buys it will become really rich. But I don't know if I want that scrutiny. <laughs> if it starts dumping or people starts manipulating it, I don't want everyone to come in here asking, well, what's going on with Wagcoin? You know, like, I don't want that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure if I did come out with it, it'll like blow up to a billion dollars. Uh, why don't you like Quant? It's a project for businesses only. Unless you're a business, there's no need to have Quant tokens, no need to interact with Quant. They don't have anything that consumers would actually use. That's the reason. Thoughts on Chirply token, world first peer-to-peer -peer influencer marketplace deflanatory deflationary just agrees with nvidia just deals agree. okay it does not have any deals with nvidia google and microsoft i'll guarantee that okay that's just complete bs and uh first peer-to-peer -peer influencer marketplace that sounds like a horrible idea to me too i'm sorry and it sounds like the way you're talking you're like a founder of it so Hate his shit on your project, but no. Thanks for the content. Thank you. Turbo Meme Coin. Uh, Turbo's been around for a while. It was getting hot once, once upon a time when Pepe was getting hot, but it just lost all momentum. First of all, it's on ETH. Second of all, just because it was created by AI doesn't mean anything. We'll see. Maybe they could catch up. A lot of these, I mean, they're still holding at 50 million. So not to shit on them. I mean, holding a meme at 50 million is impressive. So, you know, there's always a chance it could come back up. Why Render did not go up? Render has been going up. I don't know if you've been paying attention. They're one of the hottest coins right now. 4.2 billion. I mean, they're up 84% for the month. So yeah, they've been going up and 700% for a year. So they're definitely caught in the AI momentum right now. Uh, they probably gained the most from the AI narrative.
Earl says, get ready now. What, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, cool little karate combat this weekend? No, unfortunately, I'm not going to be in Cancun to attend it. There's, I've been traveling so much, and I will be traveling so much more starting from next month, so I need a break. I need a break from all my travels. Have you heard of the Aether token? Yes, I'm invested in that. And they sold out their nodes yesterday really quickly. They're supposed to be like the next render. They could be even bigger than render because they say they have more GPUs than they do. So it's, it's very hyped up. It could do very well. When is the Tyson Jake Paul fight? I think that's in June. I think it is June. I would love to go to that. I would I would pay good money to go to that. What is my most trusted stable coin? Um, they're all about the same. But if you, for the most part, I used USDT because almost everyone does. Uh, all the exchanges, everyone supports it. You know, I still don't trust them fully, but they they they're making so much money left and right. It's it's virtually impossible for them to mess up and go under at this point. They make so they make like the was it tens of billions per quarter now? It's insane how much they make. Are you still bullish on Arbitrum? I'll just say I'm not not bullish on Arbitrum. Uh, Miladies. Old, old meme. Get rest. Okay. Hazib. Um, thank you for that super chat. Will Luna Classic get to number one again? No. Why not a karate combat token? There is. <laughs> it's called karate. It's up 5% today. 18 million. Karate combat. Was a league formed in 2017. Now, you know, they, they incorporate crypto. They use this token wisely for people to bet on and also to incentivize their fighters. Um, and this year, they're going to be huge. They're going to be in all the conferences. Consensus, token 2049, both of them, Dubai and Singapore. And they're going to be in other major conferences too. I think Bitcoin 2024 as well. Um, they're going to go all out this year. How do you get in on a pre-sale? Well, if you're not like someone important, I hate to say it, like a KOL or a project or something like that, uh, you're probably not going to get into a pre-sale. You're probably going to be able to get into like a public sale. Uh, sometimes you can. It just depends on the project. You have to you have to track them. Um, sometimes they'll put it up on their X or on their website, but most likely the pre-seed rounds are reserved for like people like me. MYR, thank you. PYR, Vulcan. You know Vulcan is still, I think, I, I consider them the second biggest gaming marketplace. They have a lot of their own games, so it's not like... Uh, now it's changed because they have their own chain Elysium. They are incubating. So they have a launch pad now. And, you know, before it was just like all of their own games. Now they're incubating and bring out more games. So I think they could have a really good cycle this cycle. And I know Jamie well. I met him on the set of the next Crypto Jab. I will be attending. He invited me to Volcon 4 in London um, in June. So I'll be going there as well. But they're coming out with stuff left and right. I can't even keep up. They have so many things going on. Any thoughts on Bowie? Book of Wales coin? That just doesn't sound right. Thoughts on a CIA airdrop on Seoul? Looks like a nice pullback with good support. CIA. I don't know if you want a coin that's called CIA protocol. <laughs> if you got airdrop, great. But like, 
that name is highly, as the kids would say, sus. I don't know anything about this project. That is a generic template from Kava because I used that as my logo. So that's no good. Membership of the CIA Collective. <laughs> this looks like big, big garbage to me. Big trash. Um, NXRA. Alliance Block Nexera. <sighs> that name. That name. Infrastructure for decentralized tokenized markets. Alliance Block empowers businesses to tokenize assets and compliantly issue, manage, and trade an inclusive financial ecosystem. Sounds a lot like Ando. But yeah, it's tokenized assets. It's not like treasury bonds or anything um i think there's a need for this okay but it's 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 not something that i would ever invest in like i really don't care about a project that's helping businesses tokenize their assets i don't know it's just not interesting to me it's it's very necessary, and I'm sure there are businesses that want to do that, but I I just don't. It's not a project for me. That's that's all. Um, why exactly ninety seven thousand? I don't know because this one trader said so. There's a good reason for it. It's all, all these predictions are based on some kind of, you know, indicator, you know, whether it's a Fibonacci level. I think most people are using Fibonacci levels to kind of predict these targets now because there's no previous resistance. Um, so some, some kind of technical indicator that's telling these guys where it's going to be. Z Wagger, I see you keep asking about Grok, Grok, Grok. It's not, it's not going to do well. Just because the AI from X is called Grok doesn't mean that Grok itself is going to blow up. It's been, a, it's been out for a while. I will check it for you, though, since you are so adamant about it. Um, Holding it on a hundred million, um, it's ETH base, which is probably why it's not going up anymore, and um, pretty stagnant now. But it's been out for a while. I'm telling you, if, if this was released on Soul, it probably would be like a billion dollars. But because it's on ETH, it's not. ETH. No one wants to pay the high, high gas fees. Like if you want to put in, you notice that you all these trades, like you can't put in ten bucks, twenty bucks because the gas fees alone will be ten or twenty bucks, right? So that prevents a lot of people from fomoing into these memes on ETH. You have to be a big whale that's purchasing a lot to be able to, to, you know, to get in. That's not a problem with Soul. Soul, you could put in like five dollars with a Soul and. You don't have to worry about high gas fees. Is tips a good buy on Seoul? Just a tip. Yes. I think so. I think they have promise. The name is kind of, you know, there's a lot of induendo there with the name. <laughs> but... It could do very well. And they have a ton of liquidity for such a low cap project. A ton of liquidity. That's that's impressive. That you usually don't see that much liquidity. Um, 
Anthony, new member, welcome. So sad to say my soul bag is bigger than my Tesla bag. Now with one soul, I could buy more than one Tesla. You know, Tesla stock has been doing absolutely horrible. Micro strategies up 9% today. Coinbase up 7% today. Pretty darn good. Um, Tesla not doing so good. You know, like, here's the thing. Tesla could go down. I, I seen analysts say it could go down to, like, 120s. It could because it, it was just too hot. Like, the market cap didn't justify what, what they were doing, right? And now EV is really, like, starting to cool down. Like, all these other manufacturers stopped going to this all EV narrative. So I think it's kind of like almost like it's topped out in a way. I have one friend that is a diehard Tesla guy. He will just only buy Tesla or hold Tesla and trade options on it. But like, like there's nothing I could say or convince him to, to buy Bitcoin or at least BlackRock ETFs, you know? Like, I'm like, you're just missing out on the boat. He's been, I've been telling him since forever. He just refuses. He says it's too complicated and this and that. <clears throat> he has lost out on hundreds of percents of gains just within the last three months, right? Six months. He just refuses. I'm like, he's one of those guys like, I'm like, okay, if you, if you want to leave all that money on the table, that's, that's on you, I guess. There's nothing I can say to convince you. And, and I still try every so often. He just will not do it. Uh, so I bought into ETH in the COVID frenzy a few years ago at around 3K. Should I sell now? I mean, you're obviously in the green. Should you put that into BDC or Solana? I mean, I, I can't tell you what to do, but I like Solana better and I like Bitcoin better. So you decide. Um, Teresa asks, ETH or Sol? Um, I Let's just say I hold a lot more Sol than ETH. Tesla is not just an EV company stock to be 2K in two years. It'll be, it'll be lucky if it's above 1K in two years. Still bullish on Seoul with FTX Holdings? Yes. My R soul went and I sold all my bag. What do you mean your R sold? Do you think Binance manipulates the market? No. They're under so much scrutiny, so the answer is no. All right, I think that's enough DGen chat for today, or at least this morning until tonight. Again, more DGen. Uh, overall, guys, Bitcoin is doing well. The market is doing well. Bitcoin's going to target a much higher price soon. So stay strong, stay focused, and I'll see you guys tonight. 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, guys, have a good one. Take care.